Welcome everyone to episode 32 of Off The Sprue. In this one, we are finally finishing Academy's M113 Armored Personnel Carrier. You'll recall that in the previous video, we did some finishing uh, on the exterior of the, uh, the 113. And in this video, I'll be showing you just a few of the, uh, the final detail pieces that I added to, uh, to finish the model. So first we'll be looking at the exhaust detailing, some of the work I did there. We'll be adding and detailing the weapons, a very important part of this vehicle. Next we'll be detailing the driver's view blocks on the outside. We'll also be posing the engine hatch in a fully open position. I'll show you how I did that. I'll be adding a driver's helmet, nice little detail piece. And uh, finally some smoke grenades, usually uh, visible in reference pictures. Folks, as you know by now, this build is sponsored by Zululand Hobbies. Do check out their website, zululandhobbies.co.za. First thing to do is the, the exhaust. Now, at this stage, it's unpainted, and uh, we'll need to do some realistic detailing and finishing on that. I started by masking the, uh, the exhaust outlet itself. Uh, for this, I'm using Alclad's exhaust manifold as the base color. This is airbrushed uh, onto that little exhaust piece. And uh, when this is removed, this is the result. Very nice base color. For some additional detailing, I'm using these two rust colors from uh, Vallejo's Panzer Aces uh, range. These are dry brushed onto the, uh, onto the exhaust itself, just to get those rusty tones in there. I'm also using Vallejo Black just to add some, uh, some of that smoky color to the exhaust. And then also this, Vallejo Smoke. I really like this color. This is so, uh, so useful uh, for engine detailing. This is carefully airbrushed all around the, uh, the exhaust outlet. Now, any diesel engine has a very dirty exhaust. And uh, just to add some streaking, I used uh, Starship Filth. This is, of course, oil from, uh, from Ammo MIG. And this is applied in the usual manner, first a few drops of that uh, oil paint and then just uh, do the smearing with uh, some uh, odorless thinner. And this is the result. Next up are the weapons. Uh, this kit includes some very nicely detailed weapons. This is the uh, M2 Heavy Machine Gun. And uh, as is usually the case, the barrel isn't uh, drilled out. This is something we'll need to rectify. This is done with a one millimeter drill. There you go, barrel's been opened up, much more realistic. The ammo case itself has some very bad sink marks on both sides and uh, I decided to try and fix this. First I uh, sanded away the detail on the sides and uh, next I used some aluminium food tray and basically uh, wrapped the, uh, the side of that ammo can just so we've got some, some straight sides. Here we go, a little bit of super glue wrap the uh, aluminium all the way around. It's a nice thin material. And uh, there you can see that's a huge improvement. Next is the machine gun mount. There we go, that's been added with the copper sheet. This is now ready for primer. The primer I'm using is my go-to primer, Vallejo Black. And uh, this is sprayed onto all the, uh, the weapons parts as well as the ammo case in a smooth coat. The result, I really love this primer. For the weapons, I'm going to use gunmetal from Alclad as the base color. Again, this is applied with the airbrush in a uh, even coat. The ammo box itself is uh, painted with dark olive drab, and uh, I'm using some faded olive drab uh, as uh, some highlight colors. These paints, of course, are from uh, AK Real Colors. This is some, just some detail painting I did on the ammunition belt itself, this being brass and copper from Vallejo. Just to bring out the detail, I'm using this uh, wash from uh, MIG Productions. Of course, this can be thinned with odorless thinner. And uh, this is applied just to bring out those individual rounds nicely. To get a realistic metal shine on the weapons, I'm using gun metal pigment from Ammo MIG. 
as well as a graphite pencil from AK. They, basically, this is just a stick of graphite. And uh, this is uh, rubbed along the edges of, of, the, of the weapon just to bring out that nice metallic shine. And uh, just to round it off, I'm using pigment and a cotton bud. And this is just uh, rubbed onto the weapon and then polished. Just so you get that nice, uh, nice metallic shine. Certainly loving this, uh, this effect. It's so easy to do. The same is done on the ammo box that would be scraped up as well. Lots of scraped paint on that box. And when this is mounted uh, behind the uh, gun shield, this is the final result. Certainly happy with that. This is now ready to go onto the, uh, the 113. This kit actually includes styrene ammo belts that are usable. Uh, usually uh, I'd throw these in the bin because they're just too brittle to work with. But uh, Academy certainly got this right. Um, these little belts can be easily bent into shape and uh, they're nicely detailed, there you go, that's the result. And uh, these were painted with uh, Vallejo colors, this being brass and copper. Once this is done, it can be fitted to the, uh, to the M60 machine gun. And that's the final result, very happy with that. It certainly adds some uh, very nice detail to uh, the 113. Next up are the uh, driver's view blocks. Now, usually these are painted, but uh, I decided to take it one step further. I've got this accessory uh, sheet from AV Club. This is basically the same stuff that you will find on old uh, CD and DVD discs if you peel that, uh, that optical membrane off. And uh, very useful, this is cut to shape and uh, then basically glued onto the, the view blocks themselves. I also use this on the interior of uh, the driver's compartment. Uh, it's got a little protective film that you need to remove first. I used Ultra Glue from Ammo Mic. This stuff dries completely clear and uh, a little bit of this applied to the view block and it makes it very easy to just uh, glue those little lenses in place. This is the result, however they look way too clean to, to be realistic and uh, just to fix that I used some, some Vietnam earth pigment and uh, gave them a good dusting just so it fits the rest of the dusty exterior of the 113. Now if you've been following me on Instagram you know that I spent a lot of time weathering the, uh, the inside of the engine bay hatch. However the prop stand that the kit supplies will only open the engine hatch about halfway and I really want to display this all the way open and uh, the solution came from uh, my good friend on Instagram, the US Army Mechanic and uh, he suggested that in the field they usually used a, uh, a cargo strap to uh, open the, uh, the cargo bay hatch all the way open. And this is a perfect solution. The strap itself is made from one millimeter Vallejo uh, masking tape. And it was just a case of uh, gluing it uh, in place uh, along one of those attachment points on the hull. And uh, that keeps the engine bay hatch open. I'm certainly loving this. Thanks to my friend, the mechanic. I won't be using the driver figure uh, in this kit, but I certainly have use for his helmet. And uh, what I did next was to remove the, the figure's head and uh, just uh, use my Dremel tool and uh, some diamond cutting bits. And uh, I drill out the, uh, the helmet, basically drill the head out of the helmet. So uh, I can use the helmet itself uh, as a small detail piece. This is the result after all that Dremel work. The uh, kit itself includes a very nice uh, helmet mounted microphone piece and this was added to the helmet along with a little piece of wiring. These helmets are coated with some sort of a non-slip uh, material, uh, someone said it might be uh, crushed uh, cork and uh, this I did with uh, this anti-slip uh, paste from Ammo Mic. This was uh, added with a stippling brush, this stuff is water soluble so it's easy to apply. There you go, that nice uh, surface texture. 
Next up is paint. I use dark olive drab from uh, AK Real Colors as the base color and faded olive drab as a highlight color. This is the result with all the uh, paint and the extra wiring added. And this will make a very nice detailed piece uh, on the 113. Reference pictures from the war show the smoke grenades on uh, the side of the, uh, the commander's turret. And uh, this I also decided to, to add. The, the strap I use for this again is Vallejo 1mm masking tape that's been painted. And uh, this is tied onto the, uh, onto the uh, commander's uh, turret to the side there. The, uh, the smoke grenades themselves are harvested from a number of kits in the spare parts box. Apologies for not showing you the painting process on these grenades. They are so small uh, to, to paint. It makes it very difficult to, uh, to film them. I'll rather show you a good photograph than uh, a crappy piece of video. Once the uh, smoke grenades are fully painted, they are glued in place with a tiny drop of super glue. There you go. And uh, this is the result. Wonderful little detail piece on uh, the side of the uh, commander's position. Guys, and this is it. The uh, 113 is finished, finally. It was a wonderful process to build this. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, however, we are not uh, done yet. I still need to add figures. We need to prepare the, uh, the diorama base. And uh, that is something I'll be covering in future videos. But for now, this is the 113. Uh, done and uh, I can put this aside until later As always the colors that I used this is finishing so quite a quite a few different products that I used available from your hobby shop uh, If you'd like to follow the rest of this build, please follow me on Instagram. I post regular updates there Thank you for joining me and uh, looking forward to seeing everyone in the next video